friends, this is the start of my third week back um, in Osterhan. I am warming up after a day off, which was so, so nice. Angel and I are finally getting more settled. Our apartment feels a little bit less like camping and I just feel more secure in where we're at, etc. Um, yeah, we are performing this Wednesday, Don Q. Hopefully everything's going. My back has been giving me a little bit of trouble, um, which is like an injury from last year. So I'm just praying that everything goes okay and just, yeah, enjoying the calm of the morning before a hard day of rehearsals. Okay, so right now I am on my way to the Opera House to watch Joy rehearse Don Q. This will be the first real rehearsal I've ever watched of hers. I'm excited because it'll be the first show I get to watch uh, on Wednesday night. So it's down to the wire. Let's see if I can find my taxi here. Ah, right here. All right, as you see, we will. One thing I've noticed is that the music here in Ostrahan is actually really good. Uh, every coffee shop, car that I've gotten into has all, for the most part, been playing American music, but it's like alternative rock or, you know, a lot of the classics or just like really, I guess, progressive pop or EDM. It's all, all, all good stuff, stuff I've never heard, but long to hear deep in my soul, so. Uh, that's a plus. We're driving by my apartment right now, and you can see that we live right by a canal. It's about five o'clock here, and uh, during the day, this canal is filled with boats and people, and uh, all renting little rafts. We have a interesting little pirate ship out there that I still haven't figured out exactly what this thing is or why it's there, but. It's interesting to look at, indeed. So right now I'm using a taxi service called DD, similar to Uber, except uh, uh, a lot less expensive, I'd imagine. <laughs> Looks just like Uber, you can see I'm on a bridge right now, and they're about to take me to the theater. And I should get there in about 11 minutes now. That's gonna be the total cost of my ride, 208 rubles, which with today's exchange rate is about $2.50 maybe for 11 minute cab ride. It's pretty good. Considering in New York it's $20 to get anywhere, even just a mile down the road. currently outside of the Opera House and I am about to go inside and we'll see if we can find Joy and see what she's up to. Um, as you can see, this is a behemoth of a building. It's also where some of the schools are, like the ballet school and I think the music school, but um, it all just kind of happens in this one place. Performances, everything. Uh, sort of a town center for the arts, if you may. Uh, but as a Westerner, it's just mind-blowing. Blowing, because we don't really have anything like this in the States. And of course, like the entertainment industry operates much differently there. Um, specifically, the ballet world, from what I'm learning. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty fascinating. Let's go on inside. I am a little lost right now, but I'm assuming this is the stage. I'm gonna open this door and hope that I don't disrupt any of the performance or anything that's going on, but I think Joy's behind. I really have no idea where I am in this building. It's a giant maze, uh, as you will see. <laughs> so I managed to find my way in, thanks to our good friend Tamora over here, who is a pianist with the ballet uh, in opera. And just take a look at this incredible theater and what a what an experience it is to be sitting in here with literally nobody in here except us. I found a prima, I found a prima ballerina in the hallway. I found a prima, I found a prima ballerina in the hallway. 
just had a great hour uh, working on some classical piano with Timur and also showing him some blues, uh, which is really quite an interesting mix. Um, a blues, rock, I don't know whatever kind of pianist you want to call me, synth keyboard player in a classical Russian opera house. It was very interesting. We got to get this cool restaurant right down the street from this hotel we were staying at called, however you say that in Russian. Just finished dinner with Gabe. He's in town. It was awesome getting to hang out with him. Now we are walking back to our apartment. Let Rocky out. Let Rocky out. He's been in the cage for a while. Oh, he's getting prey trained again. He, he is. Kind of lost his prey training. He did. <laughs> Too much time in America with yeah. owners that spoiled him. But he is kind of like a living, breathing teddy bear, so yeah. can you blame us? He's the How do you not let him sleep in the bed? Anyways, it's our neighborhood at night. 